Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Maya and I'm so happy to have you join me on this beautiful day. So today I am just going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm just going to chit chat. The last time I did a get ready with me, I kind of had like an overall theme. What honey? Come here. Oh. And this little guy is being super destructive and distracting. Mwah. Guys, this is Cosmo. This is my new baby. Um, he is a Bengal kitten. He is three months old and now he's trying to play. So anyways, I just got my Bengal kitten. He is three months old. He's in his like kind of destructive and kind of being just not a good kitten right now um, at all. He's being actually really bad um right now and so if you hear him meowing and stuff like that just try to ignore it i just got him um about a week ago i got him a week ago tomorrow uh it kind of feels like i've had him forever i definitely have to be very strict with him because bangles kind of something that you should know about them is they play hard and they sleep hard so when he's cuddling when he is in his like Oh, I just want to be with my mama phase. He's the absolute cutest, but when he's like this, he is a tyrant. He wants to literally knock over things. You know, he's getting towards his like little teething phase, so he's going to like want to start like literally just chewing on everything. I, I think what I was saying was I am going to be doing a get ready with me. I don't really have like a plan where I'm going to like go with this conversation. I just want to talk chit chat and I hope you guys enjoy it so let's get started I'm actually going to be doing an eye look um, for my girl Rachel it is her birthday coming up this Sunday and she requested some particular colors so I will be doing those for her today so happy birthday Rachel I love you so I'm just gonna take some of the Smashbox primer water and Let's start talking. So how's everyone doing? I feel like when I get on video, I don't ask enough how you guys are doing. So I hope you guys are doing well. Um, especially in Michigan, the stay at home order is supposed to be lifted, um, I think May 28th. Oh, it's just kind of crazy. I feel like the last few months have been really weird. Just like, different i don't know what it really has been but it's just been different uh, you know getting cosmo definitely like helped with it my anxiety was kind of i don't know if it was like on edge but it's just been like not the best i feel like at the beginning of quarantine it was not good and then it got a lot better and then I think just like the closer and closer we're getting to like summer and kind of the uncertainty is kind of getting to me a little bit. Um, and I really hate uncertainty just in the future and like what I'm doing with my life. Like I just kind of hate it. I'm just going to take my Dior Forever Foundation, one of my favorites. So regarding like kind of my plan next year, I definitely do have a plan. I think what I mentioned before to you guys is that um i did not get into medical school this cycle but i do have a plan for this upcoming year i'm kind of one of those people that believes in like until it's like in paper like for sure for sure happening um i don't really like talking about things when they're not set in stone or when things are kind of uncertain so um that's kind of where i'm at right now i have options which is great um the thing i will say is i'm definitely going back to school um not medical school this year hopefully the next year but i am going back to school um this year so that is super exciting where and when and if i'm moving is um super up in the air i think a lot of it is you know having to do with corona this year of working has been super great i have learned a lot just from working full-time i didn't work full-time at all in college i got a lot of clinic hours in and it's it was, it's been really fulfilling family and i were supposed to go to spain um at the end of june and that trip was unfortunately canceled I kind of expected it like the moment that shit started going down 
um, was that we probably weren't going to go, but I was, you know, keeping my hopes up for sure, for sure. I think people are trying to, um, come up with, like, a reason why this happened, like, oh, you know, this is a punishment and all that stuff. Listen, this is science. This is what happens. Um, viruses are very, very smart. If I've learned anything from being a biology major, um, and taking microbiome. I mean, they are probably the most intelligent organism, microbe, um, on the earth. And the fact that they are so simple is, like, shocking to me. And it's actually, like, really interesting, like, for someone who is, you know, interested in that stuff. I feel like people are trying to come up with conspiracy theories about why it's happening instead of listening to guidelines more than anything. I have been respecting the stay-at-home order. I only, you know, really do anything or see anyone if I'm at work or I see my family and all that stuff. And like, I wear masks. I'm not, you know, whatever my governor says I will do. Like, I am not going against any orders at all. Um, I wish I could say the same for some other people in Michigan, but that just hasn't been the case. So I'm just trying to stay as healthy for myself, for my family, um, for my coworkers, especially like if I F up and you know, see someone and I get exposed, my whole office is getting exposed. Like that's just kind of the way office, you know, doctor's offices work. My anxiety was so bad at one point um, during quarantine that I did, I had to go back to my parents' house and I like needed to get a good night's rest because I like literally wasn't getting one. Um, and, you know, I made that decision because that was what I needed to do for myself. If I stayed at my apartment completely by myself, and this was like pre me getting Cosmo, I was so lonely and I w I'm only working twice a week. So it's not like I'm going to work all the time. So it's not like I can distract myself by going to work. Both my parents are still working. So and my sister, so like they're getting just as much exposure as I am, which worries me so much. Um, but I, I see better days coming. I see better moments coming. My birthday is coming up, um, so that's really exciting. My mom's birthday is in two days, so that's really exciting. It is her 60th birthday. My nieces and nephews are coming soon um which i'm so excited about i haven't seen them guys since january so i need my baby time i need my kiddos time my youngest niece is um i think she she's four months old and she is getting so big you guys i saw her when she was first born my birthday is june 3rd and um yeah i'm probably not gonna be doing anything really that exciting um you know to tell you the honest truth even if the state does open up which it apparently is supposed to be my birthday i probably will not be doing anything so um i am just going to do one eye off of camera really quick and then i will be right back to show the other eye i just want to get it done and have it perfected for you guys so I will be right back. Alrighty guys, so I finished up with one eye off camera. This is what we're working with, a very smoky kind of brown, pinkish rose gold eye. I did use the one and only rose gold remastered palette by Huda Beauty. Look at that, like, packaging, so beautiful. Huda Beauty is um, kind of problematic, at least she was i'm not really sure what's been going on lately there always seems to be some like drama surrounding her but i really like um her two palettes i really like the um nudes one and then i really like the rose gold one i'm going to go in first with sandalwood this color right here so let's get it going so another th so i was thinking while i was doing my makeup and um yeah i was just thinking about like everything like since the beginning of quarantine and all that and um i actually was having a conversation with two of my friends from um college about this and how you know i think that everyone at first thought that they would be like 
reconnecting with people during quarantine and like hearing from people they haven't heard from in a while. You know, I hate, I hate when this happens, but like I kind of find myself sometimes expecting things from my friends. Like for instance, I got a kitten um, and you know, to me that is such like a big life change. I have animals, but it's my parents' animals and I've never really taken care of one like as my own. I've never, you know, been in charge of an animal and that to me was like a really big deal that like I got an animal. The people that, you know, maybe I don't talk to as much have been, you know, the most supportive and I've been like, oh my gosh, how's it going? Like, for instance, I literally met a girl um, the a few months ago, actually about like four months ago, I met someone, a girl that's around my age that lives in Canada. She um, is super cool. I met her on my flight from New Orleans to Detroit. We got to talking, kind of started just, you know, chit chatting about life. And, you know, it turned out we had a lot in common and all that stuff. And I have literally talked to her more than I have talked to some friends that I've known for four plus years. I realized that I am just not some people's priorities. And I really appreciate people checking in. I really do. Um, I kind of have a fault in that. I, how do I put this in the best way? So. I guess the thing that, you know, a lot of people should know about me, and I think people have like figured it out if like they're re my really close friends, but I put out the energy that is given to me. So if someone is not putting an effort and isn't, you know, checking in on my life or checking in on how I'm doing, um, that energy, honey boo boo, will be put out right back to you. I, for so long, for so long, you guys, I literally would, like, put my all into friendship. I, you know, have helped people out with money before. If someone asks you for money or asks you for help and you are able to, that's great. And you can maybe do it one time or maybe twice if they, like, are saying, like, I can't you know, feed myself, I'm, you know, I just don't have the money for it. I, I get that. I do, I do, I understand. Um, and that's a very, very hard position to be put in. Um, I found myself, you know, giving and giving not just money, but food. And at the end of the day, you know, I felt very used. I felt very used. Um, I haven't been paid back by some people, literally, like to this day, still have not gotten paid back. Um, by the way, I'm going to be taking a combination of rose gold and trust fund. If someone is only contacting you to ask for money or ask you to help them in some way, um, not like an emotional help, not like, hey, can I just talk with you? If they are only contacting you during that time that they need your help, know if I would say that that's like the healthiest relationship to have in my you know past friendships and stuff like that I have been very easily used um and that is really sad to say out loud like truly sad um I feel like in a lot of my friendships I tend to be like a giver I tend to be the listener and you know the person that is there for you whenever and if you are in desperate need of something like I will be there for you through and through. I'm going to be taking 24k this really yellow gold in my inner corner. I have been just not checked on a lot and here's the thing I don't need to be checked on frequently. I don't need anyone to double check I'm okay. You know I have family for that. I have myself. I check in with myself. I meditate a lot. I have been trying to check in with people and I really do. Even if they don't put in that effort to me or they don't even bother to ask me how I'm doing, I do really try to um, give that energy out. If you just keep giving and giving and giving and 
you know, no one's offering to give back, you know, what, what are you getting out of that friendship? When the people I haven't talked to in years, like literally like maybe since high school or beginning of college or who even knows when we last talked, when they're the ones being like, hey, I know you're still working, like I hope you're doing well and you're staying safe. When they're the ones that are checking in on me and I haven't heard from some people that I used to hang out with all the time, you know, you get to thinking. I don't understand, you know, if you call someone your best friend or call someone your friend or, you know, that person has done things for you in the past, how you can just so clearly disrespect them. I do not believe that there's one person who is not going through it right now. And I get that. But when they have completely put you on the back burner and you are not at all to them a priority or they don't care to check in on you you know to me that is kind of sketchy i feel like lately i've noticed that some people some friends of mine i feel like have kind of been avoiding me is i've just been getting a little frustrated and I, I think that's why i'm talking about it um because this you know sometimes is like you know i feel like i can talk to you guys about anything so I think I've just been getting a little frustrated when, you know, people are, are expecting a certain, you know, certain behaviors out of me, certain supportive behaviors. They, you know, are expecting me to help them or support them or, you know, in any sense of the word, you know, money wise or emotionally wise, whenever they need anything, but I just really haven't been getting that in return from a lot of people. Now to tell you the truth, you guys, it's the ones that have it the most together that sometimes need the most help and that need the most support. And I definitely am not one to like put all of my problems and all of my stressors on other people. I hate when people do that to me so I don't do it to people you know um I will tell someone like hey I'm upset but like never will I just dump all of my problems on to someone if someone's doing something to upset me I'll let them know um and I've tried to do that with several people I've tried to kind of bring up like problems I've been having with the way that they communicate or just you know with our friendship and I feel like it kind of goes on to deaf ears. I don't have the emotional capacity to keep, you know, dealing with this shit, to keep dealing with just not being treated nicely. And I will always try, listen, I will always try to talk through problems, talk through issues, and if someone has just multiple times shown me that they aren't willing to make the changes that we have talked about or you know you know even are worse than when we talked um then that to me is just a time where i need to take a step back i need to reevaluate why is it that i'm in this friendship and why is it that you know they don't feel like they should put in the effort with me I think that around my age, around this time, it's normal to lose friendships and lose people that were in your life. I haven't spoken to some of my guy friends from college in literally a year since I graduated. It was like the moment I graduated, um, I was pr pr practically um, non-existent <laughs> except for when they needed money or needed help from me or needed something. Um, you know, people, I have realized, are inherently selfish. I very rarely ask people for help. I am really blessed with the most supportive family, the most supportive, you know, sisters and all that stuff. And so I don't necessarily need that supportiveness from friends, but I do really appreciate it. and makes me really happy when I feel supported by my friends. And sometimes, you know, I've gone months without talking to a friend and then that friend you know reaches out and is like hey sorry i've been mia here's what's happened and i'm fine with that as long as you contact me and talk to me when you feel ready when you're ready but when i just 
get nothing from you and I get no sense that you care like there have been some friends where I just can tell they're going through something and I will never be never be the one to like force anyone to talk when they don't want to talk but and so I give them time I give them space it's the people that have consistently shown me the same behavior in the same you know way that they deal with things like they'll need me for three months because that's when they're at their most vulnerable or at their best maybe and then they completely don't even check in on me or see how I'm doing um, because they're doing great or they have a boyfriend or they're talking to someone like it just it's not fair this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed it um, sorry I started ranting a little bit. I rant a lot in my videos if you guys have not noticed, but I do rant a lot. Um, I kind of was like doing my makeup and I like got kind of like frustrated and mad and wanted to just talk about it and maybe see if you guys are going through the same thing. Are you guys kind of going through like ebbs and flows in your friendships? If you have not already, please consider subscribing. Um, you will get a lot of ranting, a lot of, you know, deep conversations and, you know, you'll also get some fun videos as well but I want to be true honest with you guys and I want you guys to know that you can talk to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll catch you at my next video. Bye guys!